Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into some advanced PLC programming techniques that can seriously boost your industrial automation systems. If you're into making machines smarter and more efficient, you're in the right place. Let's get started. Alright, so first things first, advanced PLC programming goes way beyond the basics of ladder logic. It uses some pretty sophisticated methods to make industrial systems not just work, but work better and more reliably. Let's break down some of these key approaches. One of the most powerful techniques is state machine programming. Think of it like a flowchart that guides how a machine moves through different states. Imagine a packaging machine that shifts from ready to running to paused to error. Each state has its own conditions to enter, actions to perform while in that state, and conditions to exit. This makes the machine's operations clear and predictable, which is super important for smooth running. Next up, we have sequential function charts, or SFC for short. This takes the idea of state machines a step further by breaking down complex processes into manageable steps. Picture it like following a recipe in a kitchen EU might first heat the mixture, then add ingredients, and finally mix everything for a set time. SFC programming allows us to create these industrial recipes visually, so machines can execute each step perfectly every single time. Another game changer is function blocks. These are like pre-built modules that handle specific tasks. Instead of writing the same code over and over, you create a function block once and reuse it wherever you need it. For example, you could have a motor control function block that manages starting, stopping, and speed control, and then use it for every motor in your system. It's efficient and keeps your code clean. Then there's array-based programming, which is fantastic for managing large amounts of similar data. Imagine you need to control 50 identical motors. Instead of writing 50 separate control programs, you can use arrays to handle all the motors with just a single elegant piece of code. This not only makes your programs shorter and faster, but also much easier to maintain. One particularly powerful technique is indirect addressing. This allows your programs to dynamically access different memory locations based on specific conditions. Think of it like having a master key that can open different doors depending on what you need at the moment. It makes your programs more flexible and efficient. And we can't forget about error handling and fault recovery routines. These are crucial in advanced programming. They help detect problems, log important data, and either fix issues automatically or safely shut down the system while alerting the operators. It's all about keeping things running smoothly and safely, even when something goes wrong. By combining these advanced techniques, you can create industrial control systems that are not only more reliable, but also easier to maintain and adapt to changing production needs. The key is knowing not just how to use these techniques, but when and where to apply them for the best results. Remember, advanced PLC programming isn't about using complex techniques just for the sake of it. It's about choosing the right tools to build robust, efficient, and maintainable industrial control systems. This systematic approach helps you handle complex tasks while keeping everything reliable and easy to troubleshoot. If you found this video helpful and want to learn more about industrial automation and programming, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more tech insights. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.